Hey everybody, it's Adam with Productivity Academy. Uh, we got some really good questions today. We got uh, quite a few. I'm just going to run down real quick. Uh, we got somebody uh, who's having a problem um, as an auditor um, and kind of addictive use of social media and how they can get past that. Um, any productivity methods recommended for starting um, to to be better about having your day when you're in a situation where you're actually having to react to things, which is interesting. Um, and then what do you do uh, about focus? So some questions on focusing when you just can't focus and then how do you train yourself to focus? Um, which is a, two great questions, kind of kind of break down into two questions there. And then what time do you get up for better productivity during the day if you're a night person? All right. So before we get into those, just wanted to say real quick, if you're not watching this live, you can check this out in the Real World Productivity Group. You can find the link. Um, join, click on that, and then just type in the answers. It's like three short questions. I just want to make sure that you're serious about being in the group. It takes like literally 10 seconds to fill it out. Um, just want to know what you're interested in about productivity, time management, that sort of stuff. All right, let's get to it. Also, if you're watching live, feel free, pop a question in uh, the group, and I'll check back on that as we go. All right, so somebody had asked um, that they're uh, having problems achieving their task within the required period. Um, they're feeling lazy and then kind of like addictive use of WhatsApp, uh, social media, um, and then forgetting the task and procrastination are the problem. Okay. So, I mean, first off, I would say that like, yeah, that's a really serious problem, but um, the fact that you know that that's the problem, then you're already, you know, part of the way there. There's a lot of people who maybe don't realize that about themselves or they don't see what they're doing. Uh, and then that, that obviously becomes a big problem. So hopefully you're catching this as a problem and maybe in your, your job or whatever it is you're doing um, so that you can correct it. And obviously you don't feel good about it. Okay, so that's a really strong motivator. So remember that you want to do better or else you wouldn't have taken the time to ask me what you think you should be doing. So keep that in your mind. And I'd say, well, if you're having addictive use of WhatsApp and social media, uh, you got a lot of options. Okay, WhatsApp may be your primary like messaging route, uh, app. If it is and you can't get rid of it, okay, that's fine. Uh, but start using other um, applications if you can. And what I mean by that is like start using Todoist. Okay, it's a free program. Set reminders in there because the second half of this, you said that you're forgetting tasks. You're not getting them done. All right, so you're gonna have problems if you're on your phone and only using it for you know fun stuff or procrastination. Start using it for good things as well, for more productive things. Okay, you can set reminders. You can set recurring tasks with Todoist. You can set these alerts that remind you. Okay, I don't expect people to just, you know, give up their phones. I think that's crazy. It's not going to happen. It's a part of our lives now. Um, I think that maybe there's like one in a million people who could actually get away with that. I don't even want to do that. So I would say, you know, start to use those um, those two things in conjunction. Lower your social media use. If you have apps, you can delete. Try doing that. If you don't need to be on Facebook or whatever, just delete it. You know, you can check it. If you have access to a computer uh, during maybe breaks or at home, um, do that. Okay, there's also some apps you can use that kind of lock you out of certain functionalities. Um, I can't recall the name right now, so I'm not going to bother trying to, like, find it while I'm live. Uh, but look into that. You know, you can lock yourself out of certain apps for certain periods of time. I think that that could be really good if you're having a really hard time and it's maybe something you can't delete. Like if WhatsApp is your primary messaging app, uh, maybe you could say, okay, I, I don't need to use this between certain hours. Um, let's see. Additionally, I, I'll, as always, I would recommend that you do a daily review. If you're not sitting down in the morning, usually, for 10, 15, 30 minutes and writing down, hey, what's going on today? What does my schedule look like? What are my top priorities? This doesn't have to be complicated, but I find that that really helps clarify. Uh, and then you're going to know, right? Like I've got mine off to the side. I'm going to know what I need to do today. And roughly when I need to do it, I'm not the type that has, you know, zero white space. I've got some smaller gaps and I'm getting better about it. But it just lets me quickly realize, okay, I need to do these things. Here's when I need to do them. I don't forget things because I've got it in there. I've got it in Todoist. I've got reminders set up. Uh, and then going forward from that, you can just build on it. So that's how um, I suggest you really start with it. If you have any questions um, about moving forward with that, um, you know, please let me know. But basically a quick summary. Um, start to lower your social media usage, either deleting or kind of blocking yourself from those. Use your phone for productive activities as well and start doing that daily review, okay? And keep in mind why you're doing this. That's awesome you brought it up. You obviously want to make a change, so just keep that in mind. 
Alrighty. Uh, the next question is talking about many productive methods recommend that you start your day with kind of listing out the things you want to achieve. Uh, what do you do if there's nothing you want and you only need to react to events? Okay, first thing I'll say is I don't think that that's 100% true, but I think it's an important thing. Whether your job is, you know, you're waiting for input from something to do something else, um, you know, whatever it is, uh, I can understand that that's the case because we talk about, you know, being proactive and always, you know, planning and taking action, but sometimes that's just not the way it works out. I will say, however, that your entire day is not reactive. Okay, if you're on the computer, you're on your phone, you're able to ask these questions and, and have this time to do this other stuff, it's not purely reactive. There's things you want to do and there's things you need to do, or there's things, even if this is purely work or job related, that you could do better. And so sitting down, again, this is kind of where the daily review comes in. I talk about this a lot, but it doesn't matter what you do, it applies to anybody sitting down and saying, well, okay, what are my goals today? My goals to, um, you know, am I a call service rep? Do I work in a factory? Um, am I, you know, relaying messages? Am I, I'm, you know, building a billion dollar business? Whatever it is, what are your goals? Are you gonna do something better today? Are you working on one specific aspect of your job or your business? Uh, and then what's expected of me? Is there things I wanna do outside of that? You know, maybe it's just other goals. I wanna exercise for 30 minutes, I want to, um, eat a healthy snack today. You can start small with these things, but they make a big difference over time. So I, I understand that a lot of this could be reactive and you could say, again, if it's a job where you're kind of forced to do that, then maybe you have these blocks of times where you're not able to plan proactively, but you can certainly say, you know, I'm gonna work on doing X or Y or Z better. Um, I'm gonna, you know, improve this. And then outside of that time, what are the things you wanna do, okay? Good question. And grab some water real quick. <clears throat> okay, so this next kind of two-part question is what do you do to focus when you just can't focus? That's the first part. Uh, and then the second part will go a little bit into training on that. I think this is a really good question. It's something that has been I've been focusing on, I guess, for probably the last six months or a year. Uh, and really think that it's really important. And I'll just start out with some actionable kind of like a, a framework of how you can do this. If you're in a setting like myself, either a room or an office, um, you know, if you need to focus on something, then limit yourself, you know, to that uh, particular task or whatever it is. So I'm thinking of like a horse with like the blinders on, you know, put it away, like put the phone out of reach. All right, like lean over, put it out. Do you have uh, two monitors? Like get rid of messaging, you know, minimize it, close it. Uh, do you have distractions? Is it loud? Could you put on headphones maybe with some, some music? Depends on you. Maybe, um, you know, just acoustic music. Some people like other stuff. Do you have uh, the noise canceling headsets? Just trying to think like get all that other stuff out and then maybe take out a post-it note or your journal or just a notepad on the computer and write down, take five minutes, what is it that I wanna do? I need, you wanna focus on something, which is why you're thinking about it or you're trying to focus. What is it? And just write it down, like one sentence. Okay, I need to um, write a blog post. Okay, and then the next line, what are the three things I wanna get done? Okay, I wanna have a blog post title, uh, I wanna have 450 words, and I wanna have two images that I created in Photoshop. All right, now you have three very specific things and you've thought about what your actual goal is and you're blocking out these external kind of issues or interruptions. Now you can go forward and kind of uh, go with that and move forward is what I'm trying to say very awkwardly. Uh, but that's the way I do it and it's pretty simple, okay? You can get into some like higher level stuff about um, you know the different ways you focus and how to think about it. But in reality, a lot of it is you know lessening the distractions and then taking the time. And even something like right now, like where I get, um, I guess, I don't know what the word would be, maybe flustered or, you know, I lose uh, track of the word I'm looking for. And it can be, it feels awkward to me because I know maybe somebody's watching me right now and I'm doing a live broadcast, but just taking that couple seconds and take a breath. Like, okay, the world didn't blow up, I'm still here. And kind of doing the same thing in your real life. You know, we get into that mode of just go, go, go. And that's good at the right time. But when you need to focus instead of, oh, 
I'll answer that message and my phone's going off and I've got this over here and that over here. Just, you know, take the time, push it away and start to focus on what it is you need to do, which is in the end going to make you more productive. You feel better and you get more done and your quality of work is generally a lot higher. I think everyone would agree with that. All right. So good question. And then the second part of this was how do you train your brain to focus? Wow, that's really good. Um, I, again, can only go with what I do for myself, so kind of a framework. And I basically just went through that, but I would say that you <clears throat> remove what distracts you. And this is kind of a highly personal process because you know what distracts you. I mean, something as small as, like, for myself, I can't listen to music that has words. But I will put on, uh, you know, some, like, focusing type of music for me. It's just something uh, without words, whether it's like a nature sounds thing or, you know, uh, what do they have? Brain FM, focus at will. There's a lot of things out there that do that. But then literally removing distractions, okay? And for everybody, this is different, but it's up to you. You just have to do it. Do you find having a bunch of tabs on your computer distracting? Close them. Do you find all the little blinky messages on, you know, the different messaging apps distracting and, and hurting your focus? I almost guarantee it close them. You know, is your phone distracting you? Put it on silent and put it out of arm's reach. You know, clear things away from you and then take that time, whether it's, you know, taking a deep breath before you do something, taking 30 seconds and thinking through what it is you're going to do or literally writing it out. What, okay, what am I doing in the next, let's call it 30 minutes. What are my top three things I'm going to do and be very specific. Okay. And then just getting in that habit of that repetition and you can kind of do it on all scales and hopefully you see where, how that's happening. Like I said, you could take a breath. Okay, just kind of relax and go and focus on what you're doing. Maybe take a walk around the block. Maybe you do that for a larger project. You're going to sit down and have like a two-hour work block and you've got that one thing you want to accomplish on it. Well, take three minutes of that two hours. Write down what your goal is. Write down what the top three things are. Make them very specific. And then keep that right next to you because I guarantee you if you're like me or anybody else, hey, after a little while, your mind's going to start drifting. Okay, so maybe after 30 or 45 minutes, you get up, go get a drink of water, take a quick walk, come back, remind yourself, look at what I had, get back to it. So I think you can start to apply that to a lot of areas. And a lot of it is just like that simple. You just start training yourself. Uh, and then you can look into other methods. So again, that for me works. And I think it's a really simple framework that you can try to apply to a lot of different areas in your life, but then take it, grow on it, you know, adjust it as you need. All right. And let's see the last question so far for today. What time do you get up for better productivity during the day, providing you are a night person? All right. So big caveat, I am not a night person, <clears throat> but I think this applies to either. Okay. I think this would be the same for somebody who's trying to be productive in the evening, somebody who's trying to be productive in the morning is, you know, to thine own self be true. All right. If you know when you should be getting up or when your body feels rested, then, you know, you need to try to make things work around that. And I, I mean, you've got to be honest with yourself. Okay. Are you sleeping 13 hours a night? That may not be healthy. You may need to go to a doctor um, or maybe, you know, you're partying just a little bit too hard. But outside of that, you know, you've got ways you can adjust. You can try going to bed a little bit earlier if you need to get up earlier. Do you feel okay? Do you feel rested? Maybe when you get up, instead of, um, you know, going straight to the coffee, you get up and go for a short walk, have a glass of water. Um, and I'm not guaranteeing these things work at all, but try something else. And you kind of change things around and see how it works. Stick with it for a little bit. See what makes you feel better. And I think over time, you'll start, you'll start to see what works for you. But in general, if you know you have a time or amount of time that you rest for and you feel good, then try to structure things around that. Okay, because I, I don't know about you, I find myself much more productive uh, when I'm fully rested. And although I'm a morning person, I don't get up at, if I had to get up at four in the morning, I would not feel great. I normally would not enjoy that. And that's the same for me if I was trying to work at 10 o'clock at night. I generally don't do that. Uh, and it wouldn't work very well for me. So hopefully that's helpful. Some really good questions today. And I think that is going to wrap it up. So real quick, uh, if you're watching the replay and you're not in the real world productivity group, come join us. Uh, you can find the link um, either above or below the video. Click on it and just fill out the quick questions and come join us if you wanna be around people who are interested in productivity, time management, all the awesome productivity apps out there. 
Uh, and then you can ask questions live at this as well. So looking forward to seeing you and thank you for watching.